Hello Panthers, and welcome to today's episode of PTV. Because of the current pandemic we are all enduring, we can't enjoy certain things, like in-person rallies, but that won't stop ASG. They are teaming up with us here at PTV to put on a virtual rally between cohorts on March 12th. Make sure to tune in to watch all the fun, you won't be disappointed. The MPHS Theatre Department is putting on the Spring 24-Hour Theatre Festival starting tomorrow, March 5th. While the form to sign up is now closed, you can still watch the quality shows that will be put on by the department. As we prepare to go back in person, Amy looked at the schedule for the next few weeks. Take it away, Amy. Hi, Panthers. As you may have heard, next week, starting Monday, March 8th, we are able to go back to campus. Starting on Monday, students will go to their classes during their assigned cohorts on campus. We will also be going to campus on Thursday, March 11th, and the next week we will be going to campus Tuesday, March 16th, as well as Friday, March 19th. For the rest of the days that we are not back on campus, we will remain doing our online learning as we have been doing these last few months. Starting the week of March 22nd, all blended students will be in person Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday during their assigned cohorts. Wednesdays from here on out will remain as the online learning, just as we've been doing. There will be more communication as we get closer to March 22nd, but we're all excited to be back in person. We hope everyone can have a safe yet fun rest of the semester. Back to you, Michael. Bold and Italics is now accepting admissions for the spring issue. They are looking for pieces that depict how COVID has affected both your mental and physical health, as well as your goals. These can include anything from flash fiction, poems, or even visual media, such as artwork or photography. The topics are not limited to COVID, however, so if you've written or painted anything else that is school appropriate, you can still submit that. For more information, visit their website at boldenitalics.weebly.com. The deadline is April 1st. In the age of COVID, it can be tough to stay active. Grant took a look at how hiking can fill that void. With all that's going on right now, it's easy to forget to go outside and stay active. Luckily, here in Newbury Park, we have an abundance of great hiking trails at our disposal. Here's MP freshman Jackson Kurtz's thoughts on hitting the trails. I started hiking mainly with my dad and just doing it like once a year. Uh, but then I started joining Boy Scouts and began hiking more and more. When I'm hiking, I tend to bring water, snacks, and when I'm hiking with the troop, I always like to just bring some extra first aid as well. I like to wear shorts and then maybe a long sleeve shirt if it's cold. I always bring a sweatshirt just because it might get really cold or rain might happen. I also like to wear just good hiking shoes. I think my favorite part about hiking is the fact that I get to just like be out in nature and get to just get away from the city for a while and just just appreciate the natural views. Hiking compared to other things during quarantine just seems like a nice change of pace, getting out to go just do something outside the normal. It's definitely just fun to get out there. Some of my favorite trails are Magoo Peak down by the ocean. Um, that's where you get to see the ocean from the mountain and stuff, so that's really nice. I also like hiking at Sapwi, where there's just some more forest and hilly I think one of my goals in the future will definitely be to go on the film out hike with my Boy Scout troop and just have a fun time going overnight cross country. I would definitely recommend hiking to pretty much anyone because the trails don't have to be hard. It's just good just to get out there and have fun enjoying nature. Reporting for PTV, I'm Grant Huff. Well Panthers, that is all I have for you today. Have a great Friday and enjoy your weekend. Bye.